LSU and Mississippi State. Let's talk about this one right quick. And man, what a what a ridiculous game here. I I was so wrong on this one. I could not have been more wrong. Now I did not bet this one. Um but man, LSU just dominant. Just dominant in this game. Like what in the world happened on this? Uh total yards of 416 to 289. Uh, Mississippi State, more turnovers? Like, Will Rogers does not turn the football over. That was nuts. 5.5 yards per play to only 4.5 in favor of LSU. Uh, LSU, better on third down. I mean, surprising. Fourth down tries, uh, they were better on. Like, one out of two as opposed to one out of four. Uh, more points per scoring opportunity. 4.8 to 3.4. They they scored points off of a uh, special teams uh, gaff. You know, that the situation here, like, the Mississippi State mistakes – Right, fumbled punt, like all these different things. And once they got behind the eight ball, like there was no coming back from that. Just nuts. Uh, so Jaden Daniels, I mean, doing his thing, uh, looking at what he actually did in this game, 22 out of 37, 210 yards, one touchdown, and he ran the ball 16 times for 93 yards. Like his usage rate is absolutely absurd. John Emery came back, by the way, from suspension. Cheers to him for getting back on the field. Uh, 11 attempts, 32 yards. He's he's going to have to work his way back into this thing, but definitely good. Uh, Goodwin here, 9 attempts, 75 yards, averaged 8.3 yards per carry. Malik Neighbors, after that dreadful week one performance, um, six receptions, 76 yards here. Uh, they This team for LSU is talented. And you see here, like, they scored 10 points. Heading into the fourth quarter, they were down 16 to 10, and the mistakes were drastic. Led to 21 LSU points in the fourth quarter, outscored state 21 to nothing, just dominated them. And you can see here on the post game win probability, um, I mean, just it, it flipped on a dime. <laughs> I mean, it really did. That was the biggest, uh, biggest situation. They, they just flipped that thing over. So props to LSU for getting a dub at home in Tiger Stadium, and this is why Mississippi State fans hate going to Baton Rouge. It's because even when you think that you've got the better team, uh, something like that can happen down there because crazy things do happen in Death Valley at night. That is for sure. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.